Hi, my name is Riley Turner and I'm the founder and president of Fine Arts for a Cause at Colleyville Heritage High School. Fine Arts for a Cause is an organization dedicated to allowing students to use their talent and passion for the fine arts, whether that be spoken word poetry, visual art, dance and choreography, drama, anything that you can think of to speak up for things that they believe in. The main idea for this organization was to put on an event every year dedicated to a different cause. This year's theme is Girls' Education in Developing Countries. It's an issue that a lot of people don't really know about, and since this is the inaugural year of this organization and its events, I thought it would be a really interesting topic to discuss. Unfortunately, because not a lot of people know about it, it's a lot easier to start locally, which is where our story begins. It actually all began in middle school. As an 8th grader, I helped put together an event called SOAR with Girls Education, which had kind of the same message. We put on an event to raise awareness and support for the Messiah Girls Education Fund. There was dancing, music, spoken word poetry, theater, all of these different things completely made and created by students. It was wildly successful, and I thought I could bring something like that to Colleyville Heritage. When I started Fine Arts for a Cause, I didn't just want to put on an event. I wanted to branch out with something local, and I got an amazing opportunity. The school decided to put on a Shakespeare festival, and one of the plays just so happened to be an all-female production of Julius Caesar, something that I was able to be a part of myself. I contacted an organization called Girls Inc. Girls Inc. is a nonprofit with over 80 locations nationwide that are dedicated to providing support and empowerment for girls all across the country. So, the big thing happening this week, this is kind of Fine Arts for Cons kickoff thing. Um, there is a group called Girls Inc. that is um, it's a nationwide thing, but there's a group in Arlington, um, and they just, you know, they take girls who have been in really rough situations, whether they're, you know, in poverty, they've come from um, domestic violence shelters, they've come from homeless shelters, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, they go in and they give these girls an education, and they give them a place where they can feel safe and learn and be empowered. And there's a group of them coming to see Julius Caesar. Um, I reached out to the Tarrant County office and they were kind enough to send 30 girls to come see the production. A lot of these students have never had the opportunity to see a play, much less a Shakespeare play, and much less one done completely by a female cast and crew. It was empowering for both the students and the performers. We were able to give a Q&A to the girls. It was yeah. 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 It depends. As someone with 730 or so lines, <laughs> or so. <laughs> it did take a while to memorize them all, but the good thing about Shakespeare is that it's all in iambic pentameter, so there's like How a really good rhythm. difficult or easy or what type of changes did you have to make to make it an all an all women production? Um, because we read this play. <laughs> We read this play in English a while ago, so I was already kind of familiar with the story. And because like it's in history too, in my head I always thought of these characters as men. So even as I started um, acting in the show, it took me a while to kind of shake off the feeling that I was playing a man and like start kind of finding that power within myself. It's like when we first started the show, like it was kind of difficult just because like these characters were written for men to play. But the thing that actually we talked about actually a few weeks ago was each character in the show has the opportunity to change how basically Rome falls and like how Rome turns out. And um, I, I kind of brought that back to my own life that like everybody has the opportunity to make choices that can impact their journey and they can choose their own path. And that's something that's really stuck with me from this show. And so like when you talk about um, trying to make the show for all females, it's like, well, it wasn't that difficult because we're all powerful women and we all have control and we all are strong enough to make those choices in our life. That we got the invitation to come out. Um, you know, we always, we, we, we serve girls all throughout Tarrant County. 
So we presented it out to all of our different staff and we had this huge influx of, quite, of inquiries saying, we wanna go, we wanna try to figure it out. Um, and so I just wanna say how much of an inspiration you all are to us to know that people are recognizing how empowering it is for girls to be able to do anything they put their mind to. And so you are an embodiment of what strong, smart, and bold women look like, which is our mission here at Girls Inc. And we do actually have a lot of questions that didn't get to get asked, so I'm gonna get with um, your director and um, some other people here to make sure that we can connect you all together to get the questions and answers answered um, and asked. So thank you all, we truly appreciate you. amazing experience all around for everyone involved and it gave Fine Arts for a Cause a little bit more of a reputation. Julius Caesar was a success and probably one of the most fun things I've ever been able to be a part of. But it doesn't stop there. In fact, Julius Caesar is just the beginning of the projects that Fine Arts for a Cause will do. Sometime around April or March this year we're going to put on an event. All of the pieces performed and seen by everyone there will be completely student created. That's what sets Fine Arts for a Cause apart from other organizations. It's all completely led by students. As of right now, we're partnered with the Maasai Girls Education Fund and Justice for Our Neighbors. These are two different organizations dedicated to helping people in need, one of them globally and one of them locally. This is just the beginning for Fine Arts for a Cause, and I am so excited for what it will become in the future, and I wouldn't be able to do it without an amazing group of students who have dedicated their time and energy and talent to making things happen here at Colleyville Heritage. Mm -hmm.